Hi, this is Robert Hardy coming to you once again. This is the Excite, this is the Excel Live Show, and uh, we're just going to continue right with our um, poem that we've been we be, that we talked that we started with yesterday. Um, we're talking about the, the poem called "Our Greatest Fear," and um, what we're going to do is, I, as you see, I, I typed it out for you guys again today. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to read through it right from from right from the start, the whole thing, read through it, and then we're going to go back and pick it apart, line line for line, and then um, we'll just see how far we got. Um, hey, thanks, Herman, for joining me. Uh, so this is what we're going to do tonight. Um, last night I did my live, and I realized that I I had it only on uh, me only to see it. So tonight I kind of correct that, and hopefully everybody can see my live tonight. If you miss if you missed last night video, because this is part two of the series, just go back and watch part um last night video because this is a continuation from last night video. So the poem is called "Our Greatest Fear." Our greatest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our greatest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. You playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people the permission to do the same. As we are liber liberated from our own fear, our present automatically liberates others. So last night we, we stopped off at, um, we talked, we talk, we got to as far as um, talking about you are a child of God. Again, if you missed last night's video, which most of you did because I have it on private setting and I didn't realize that, um, you know, I put it on, um, public setting where everybody can see these see this videos and I'm just gonna make sure tonight's video well you guys join me so that means that it's it's working Mustafa thanks for joining me um so again the reason why I'm keep kind of keeping my my voice down is because my wife has told me that when I'm I have to keep my voice down when I'm doing this live because it one thing I didn't so late at night and secondly she can hear me when I'm talking and it disturbs her and also the baby. So I had to keep my voice down <laughs> so I don't disturb them while they're sleeping. So um, you playing, let's pick it up from, let's pick up the poem. If you're following along, if, if, you know, if you guys are following along, I typed it out. If you're following along with the video, it said, let's pick up from where, it said, from where it says, you playing small does not serve the world. Now, a lot of people have a tendency when they're, um, because how this, how we see ourselves, or I mean, I'm including myself with this, with this, because we always see ourselves, we, we tend to see, we tend to see ourselves it, um, in our own eyes as small as nobody sometimes. Nobodies or, you know, you have this, you know, who am I to think that I can do such a thing? Who am I to think that I can do such a thing? You know, have that kind of mentality and our um, of the perception of yourself, and um, so in a way, we're playing small. That's why I said you playing small does not serve the world. What do you mean by playing small? You mean by you? Uh, I'm trying to think. The reason why I'm kind of hesitant. I'm trying to think of a good example to bring across to bring across the point that I'm trying to bring across because I find that. You know, using examples helps helping bring across a point. Um, 
Let's, let's go back to the story of, of Joshua and the children of, of Israel in the Bible. I don't know if how many of you are familiar with the Bible story, but Joshua and the children of Israel and Moses were were, supposed, were they were supposed to take the city called Jericho. Now, Jericho. Hold on, guys. Jericho. Jericho was um was a city that God told the told, told the, pe the, the people of Israel, the Israelites, to take the city, that he delivered the city into their hands. But before they did that, they decided to send 12 spies into the land to spy out the land. And out of the, t out of the 12 spies, two, only two of them came back with a good report. 10 of the 12 spies came back with a bad report. And you know what? One of the, one of the things they said. They said, "We are we were grasshoppers in our in our own eyes. We see ourselves in their eyes as grasshoppers. We were grasshoppers in their eyes. They, in, in other words, they have a, a grasshopper mentality, where they see themselves as grasshoppers in the eyes of the people of Jericho." No, what why am I using that that example for the reason why I'm using that example is that sometimes we have what, what we call what I like to call a grasshopper mentality. People who people who um people who see themselves as small in their own eyes and therefore they see themselves as small in the eyes of people, other people. And see and that's that's what's the issue here. That's what the, this this poem is trying to say. You playing small does not serve the world. But well, you playing small first start with you seeing yourself as small, as a small, insignificant nobody. No, uh, so you see yourself as somebody who who can't make a difference in the world, who can't you're nobody. <laughs> and so, because you see yourself as a nobody, you think other people sees you that way also. And that's how that's that's the kind of mentality that we need to change. We need to change the mentality that we are nobodies. We not nobodies. We are somebody. We are child of God. We have to we have to change that grasshopper mentality. Remember the children of Israel does they saw themselves as grasshopper in the eyes of the people of Jericho. So therefore, they thought we we can't take the city. In in their eyes, we're as grasshoppers, right? They have the grasshopper mentality, you know. So that's what I'm trying to use as an example. Some of us have that kind of small mentality, the where we 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 we're playing small. We we we're playing down ourselves. We 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 um with with. We're um oh, what I'm trying to say. <laughs> we're playing down ourselves. We're we're um we're 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 afraid to 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 measure up to what to our full standard, to our full potential, right? We're kind of playing it down, and that's what that's what he's saying. What's the lady saying? You playing small does not serve the world. You playing yourself down. You putting yourself down. You thinking that you're you're not you're not you're nobody. You're not good enough. You're not significant enough. You playing small does not serve the world. You know the world is full of what one another another way I can what I can say is we haven't there's there's too many. Indians and not enough chiefs. <laughs> if, they can, if you can use that analogy, there's too many Indians and not enough chiefs. You know, I mean, we need we need more people who have the chief mentality, and that that's just Indian, the little old Indian mentality where you just follow along and follow along and uh, and just think that you're nobody, right? So. That's what that's what you're trying to say. You playing small does not serve the world. You seeing yourself as a small, insignificant person who cannot make a difference in the world does not serve the world. You got to see yourself as a somebody. You got to see yourself as a world changers, world shaker, somebody who can make a difference in the world. So 
that that's part of this, the poem that we want to pick up on. We want to talk about there. And then it said, there's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. There's nothing enlightened about that. See, there's nothing enlightened about you shrinking, playing yourself small, you know, and we all have done this to some degree or not in our lives, to some area of our lives or something. We don't, we don't see out, we don't see ourselves. Okay, let me use this as an example. A lot, of, a lot of time we don't see ourselves as owner, you know, owning something. We see ourselves as, as, as renters or employees. Instead of seeing yourself as the owner of a business, for example, you can't see yourself as an owner of a business. You only can see yourself as an employee. You never, you don't, you don't think that you're good enough to ever own a business, to ever own have people working for you. You know, you never, you don't think that you have what it takes to be an owner. So you always have that uh, um, uh, an employee mentality. So you shrink and you're shrinking yourself down to an employee mentality instead of trying to change your mind and change your mindset to be to develop to become an employer mentality. See yourself as an employer owning your own business, having people working for you. But we shrink ourselves down to that employee mentality and that's all we have. We think of ourselves and see ourselves. We never see that we can do anything else but just work for somebody else instead of working for ourselves. So that's what they're saying. We, you shrinking to make you shrinking. Hi, Jem. Hi, Mathaline. Mathaline, thanks guys for joining me. It, it, um, you shrinking, there's nothing enlightening about you shrinking, you shrinking to that employee mentality so that other people around you won't feel insecure. This is your fellow co workers, you don't want them to feel insecure. <laughs> you know, I heard one time that this guy says, he 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 said you know he was like a a, a regular guy job at, at a job and he got he got promoted into a management position and he said he said heard him say that it was quite an experience to go from being like like a regular employee to all of a sudden you're in a management position and you have to and the people that you're a buddy buddy with all of a sudden you're you're superior over them in and the job and the, the dynamic of your relationship with that person with those people just changes like almost changes overnight he says it was quite an experience to, to go through that a lot of people don't know how to handle that kind of stuff they never they can't see themselves transitioning from an employee mentality to an employer mentality and that's what that's what we that's what and because of that we don't want people to feel insecure around us we don't want people to feel insecure i hope you guys are following along with the poem and we're doing this poem those of you who are just joining us we're doing the poem our greatest fear and i'm going through it and so we're talking about this i already typed it out there for you guys to follow along I said um there's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you and that's why we have a tendency sometimes we don't want we don't want you know we don't want people around us to feel insecure so we want to by us trying to stretch ourselves trying to break out of the norm and doing a break out of the status quo and Break out of that mental, the employer, that average uh, mentality, and you know when when we we try to break out and break free from that kind of mentality that we're thinking, other people around us are gonna start feeling insecure, and they're gonna want to try their best to keep us keep us in 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 <laughs> keep us in line, so to speak. You know, <laughs> you know the story of the crab. How you, how do you catch how you catch how you catch how do you catch a crab? You know, you, all you need is one crab to catch a basket full of crab. You know that? Because once you got a crab inside a basket, all the other crabs that come in after, if one of them tried to escape, all the other crab will pull him down. Pulling down. So let's say you have one crab in the, in the basket and then another crab come along. He jump inside the basket. Then if he's trying to escape out the basket, the first crab that was inside the basket, pull him back down. Then there come another crab. He saw the two crabs in there. He jumps in the basket and then he's trying to, oh, in the net or whatever. And then 
he's he he's, he's I'll have you enough of this. I want to get out of here. So he tried to get out of there, and then the other two crabs that was in there before passed out, pulling him down. So every time he tried to escape, they pull him back down. And then here comes a, a, a fourth crab. He sees the three crabs in there. He jumped in the basket. And then he kind of said, oh, I don't want to say being here anymore. So I'm going to get out. When he's trying to get out, the three other crab that was in there before him pull him back down. <laughs> and that's how he catch crab, a basket full of crab. He does need one crab to start the process. And next thing you know, you can have a whole big basket full of crab. And sometimes that's, how, that, that's the kind of mentality we have. When we, we have that employee mentality. We have that shrinking yourself down so that other people around you won't feel insecure. Why? Because you want to fit in. You, know, you want to fit in. You want to be, you know, you want to be accepted. But, but when you're trying to break out, break free, from the norm, from the mentality, like say for the mentality of an employee mentality to an employer mentality, you're gonna have, you're gonna have to maybe shrink, um, shake off some friends, shake off some people that may want to pull you back down to the into the basket of the crab. So, you playing small does not does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people around you or other people won't feel secure around you. There's nothing, there's nothing enlightened about that. There's nothing good, in other, there's no word, there's nothing good about that. If you want, if you want, if you want to elevate other people, you first have to elevate yourself. If you want to rise above other people are uh, help other people rise above their, their their status quo you have to first rise above it yourself and there's nothing there's nothing enlightened about shrinking shrinking down you know making yourself smaller than you than you actually are just so you can fit in and and be a part of the status quo there's nothing enlightened about that we got to stretch ourselves to grow and to develop ourselves because that's the way personal growth and development comes in. We got to be different and be more than we currently are in order to have more, be more, and experience more than we currently are experiencing and are having. You know, as as I said before, at the end of the day, the reason why you want to go through any kind of personal growth and development, the reason why you want to make any changes in your life, at the end of the day, it comes down to one thing. It comes down to wanting a different results. If you're not happy with the results that you're getting in life, whether it's in your finances, where it's in your relationships, where it's in your, your health, where it's in your... Um, you know, your, your relationship with others, you know, if you're not happy with the results that you get in, you got to make some changes in your life. But because like at the end of the day, if you don't make those changes in your life, in whatever area that you want to see different results, if you don't make those changes, you're going to continue getting those same results. So at the end of the day, it comes down to you wanting the different results. Therefore, you will do your person, you go through some kind of personal growth and development. And that's what this live video is about. It's about helping you, uh, teaching you, showing you, pro walking alongside with you how to do these, how to go through these personal development. And I and I and I pick this poem like the other one because it's so it's, it's such a good poem. I love this poem here. So um, we're just gonna we're gonna cut we're gonna stop here for for tonight. We're gonna continue here, continue on tomorrow night. We're gonna tomorrow night. We're gonna pick up from pick up from the part. It says, "We are all meant to shine as as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us." So we're gonna pick, we're gonna talk about that tomorrow night. We'll talk about that tomorrow night because that's really really good there. So um, that's it gonna be it for tonight. I hope I, I hope it says something that will inspire you, motivate you, encourage you. Um, just to go go over go over 
the part that we covered tonight. It says, you playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. There's nothing enlightened about it. If you want to be a world changer, if you want to be a world shaker, whether it's worldwide or just in your own little circle of influence, you got to not, you have to stop shrinking so people around you don't feel insecure because they see that you're, they see that you see that you're growing and stretching and developing yourself and they start feeling insecure around you because they can't stop thinking, you know, you look at her, she's, you know, she's going, she's going for it. Uh, he, is, he or she's going for it. They're, they're changing their lives. They're achieving success. They're setting goals, achieving things. And they start, you know, when people, I've I've haven't really experienced this for myself so much. I know I know I will as I continue on, on this journey. But I've heard people, people who've achieved um, a certain level of of success in their lives, they say this. They say that once they become successful, become right rich, are they you know break out of that norm, and they come become successful and they change and they go. The friends that they had stop being their friends. They'll, they've lose friends along the way. Because why? Because as they're on the journey of personal growth and development, as they're on, the journey, on, the, as they are on their journey of pursuing their goals and their dreams, people who's that not that um, determined, who's not that focused, who's not that um, ambitious, people who are not that ambitious and focused and determined to make changes and make a difference in their lives and in the lives of others around them, they'll just stop being your friend. They'll just fall away on by the wayside. You know, <laughs> and I've heard people say that heard and, and I'm, I'm, I've yet to experience that myself. I know I will, as I continue pursuing my goals and their dreams, probably some of the people that I, thought that was my friends are going to probably shrink, um, fall away from by the bayside because they're realizing that, that I'm a little bit more ambition than they like, you know. <laughs> they don't like the journey that I'm on and I'm not, they're not about to join me. So they're just going to, you know, fall fall off the bang wagon somewhere along the way. And you will experience that. But you see, that's, that's, what, that's, what, that's what not shrinking so that people, so that other people around you don't feel insecure. These people are, are refusing to shrink, so other people can can be or can feel secure around them. They're refusing to shrink. They they say no, we're not going to shrink just so people can feel secure around us. You know, so we <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna grow and expand ourselves. And who don't and who who feel insecure around us? That's their problem, not ours. And that's the kind of mentality you have to have. He, he, those who feel insecure around you because you're, you're, you're refusing to shrink yourself down to their level, that's their problem if they, if they don't want to grow and expand like you. You don't go down to their level. You, go, you let them come up to your level. That's the way you have to see it. That's the way the, adic the attitude you have to have. That you, instead of going down to the lower level of other people and they're shrinking their low, low level mentality, you rise up above, and if they want to join you, they're more welcome to. But if, if not, then you have to keep going, keep focus, keep going, because you focus on your goals and your dreams. You are focused on getting different results. Remember, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to, is you want different results in your life, in the areas of your finances, in the areas of your relationship, in the areas of your health, in areas of your... of um. What else? Relationship with God and what 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 any area, other area you want different result and you want and you're refusing to shrink down so people don't feel insecure about around you. You you're refusing that and you're saying I'm gonna do whatever it takes. <laughs> I was supposed to cut it off a few minutes ago. Anyways, again, I hope as you I said something that move you inspire you motivate you in some way shape or form um we're going to pick up this again tomorrow talk about comes here talk about this poem uh our greatest fear and um it's a great poem and, and again i'm going to have it out the outline there for you guys can see so you guys can follow along with me
I hope I say something that move you, inspire you, motivate you in some way, shape, or form. Join me again tomorrow. This is Robert Harley. And those of you who live in my local area, I just want to give this shout out. Those of you who live in my local area, please come out on April 9th. April 9th. Come out and support me. Come out and uh, again, I'm having one of my Excel Your Life seminar. Excel Your Life seminar. It's um, going to be. It's a Monday evening from 6:30 to 8:30. It's at the at the city center library. It's one of the rooms in the library. Anyway, I think I have an event on Facebook, so you can look at the event event. And I also put an ad on Craigslist. So you guys can check out Craigslist. I put an ad on Craig, Craigslist concerning this. Anyways, here's my challenge to you and then my challenge to you and my challenge to myself before we close tonight. And this goes, this, this challenge go hand in hand with what we just finished talking about, about not shrinking. Okay, here's a challenge from, for both of us. Let others lead small lives, but not you. Let others argue over small things, but not you. Let others cry over small hurts, but not you. Let others let let others leave their future in someone else's hands, but not you. Let others settle where they are, but not you. Let others live let others live a life of mediocrity, but not you. Let others stay in the stay in the comfort zones, but not you. Let others live their lives in fear of the unknown, but not you. Let others let others let fear and the fla- let others let fear of failure and fear of success holds them back, but not you. Let others be content to add to the wealth of the graveyard but not you. You be the one to take a stand. Now you, you be the one to rise up. You be the one to take a stand. You be the one to make changes in your life. You be the one to go after your goals and your dreams. You be the one. This is Robert Hardy and I hope you guys got something out of this live video. Join me again tomorrow. Hopefully a lot a lot earlier than I did it tonight. <laughs> Tonight's quite late here. It's like two thirty my time almost. Yeah, almost two thirty my time. I know you guys live in different time zone, so it's quite late. <laughs> two thirty in the morning. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully a lot earlier than you guys seen me tonight. Um, Niana, thank you for joining me too. Thank you. Anyways. God bless you. I love you. Peace.